What is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixel Partners, and welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Where we left off, turns out that our mentor might be up to some fishy shit. Yeah, according to Phoenix. According to Phoenix. So, that day, Christoph and I had dinner. We sat at the table on this photograph. Jay Smith walked in five minutes after Christoph left. Then the trap failed. Smith hit when the trap failed. Smith hit the waitress. The girl was knocked out cold, and Smith was uncontrollable. I left to call the police. And our attorney was dead, bloodstream from a cut in his forehead. That's why I made another phone call to Vince Attorney Gavin. Mm. Oh, is this the truth that Mr. Wright was talking about? Justice, you know what you have to do. He's lying. Expose him now. Y yes, sir. Yeah. I have to think. What's Mr. Wright trying to tell me with this testimony? Truth has to be in there somewhere. All right. Phoenix is being his sneaky Phoenix self. All right, so what are you two having dinner for? You had dinner with Mr. Gavin? Yeah, he danced with me at the Borscht Bowl Club quite frequently. We were enjoying a usual dinner at our usual spot, as usual. D usual? I always eat at the table closest to the piano. I see. Where Mr. Smith was sitting. So the plates and such on the table were from your dinner? Indeed, I remember some of my old Kristoff. We dined for two hours and Kristoff left. After that, mm. like, hey, five minutes. Left. Let's talk about it. Five minutes. That's really five short. Five minutes. So the two of them could have passed in the restaurant during that time. Yeah. That would have been a fateful encounter, to be sure. Oh boy. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Mister Wright. What was it you said? Kristoff, Gavin, and Shady Smith may have met. I believe I did say that. <laughs> yeah, I was all nervous about this meeting. And now we're here just passing the hall. Hmm. It does seem a little weak as a pretense for a murder. Oh, it would be if that was all that really happened. Come on, Mr. Wright. What are you hiding this time? He's being so cryptic. <clears throat> when the trap failed, he's also... He's doing a thing. He, he's tilted his hat down. Yeah. And he's keeping it till then. Okay, when there's a trap fail. Okay, let's talk about it. About this failed trap. This is the same trap that Miss Olga Orly mentioned. Oh, yeah. The plan was simple. Elegant, really. You see, we set up a trap of sorts. I was to plan a card in Wright's pocket beforehand. And then deal five aces during one of their games. When their hands were revealed, Smith would call him out and search Wright. He would then pull out the planted card and the trap would snap shut. But it didn't work. Swapped guard. Okay, yeah, yeah, we know it all. So, uh, let's move on. Yeah. Just like that, the legend would be dashed to pieces. But it wasn't. Yes, a harmless prank in essence. It was by a quirk of fate that I happened to discover it. A quirk? You mean like, like a superpower? Hero academia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put my hand in my pocket. He is all might. <laughs> and found a card. The card she planted? Yes, I snuck a peek at it and found it was the Five of Hearts. I had a feeling something might happen, so I disposed of the card. Before the game. Disposed? Where? There was an empty bottle of grape juice I had been drinking right beside me. I threw the card inside the bottle. An empty bottle of grape juice? The murder weapon? So that's why his prints were on it. Yes, I rolled up and shoved it in. The colored glass makes it hard to see. Mmm, a battle of wits between the deceiver and the would-be deceived. It sounds like terrific drama. That's why it's in this a murder <laughs> weapon. That's strange. Did the police miss it in their investigation? Maybe I'll take a look. Just fucking breaks the... <laughs> <laughs> Miss Wright, the poke ahead of courtroom number three proves of this battle of wits. Please revise your testimony with this new information. He's so pumped. Let's <laughs> for the trap game as opposed to the card in the bottle. All right. So, that means we need to go ahead and check the bottle. And thankfully, I've plugged in my never before handy, but now slightly handy steam controller. I say slightly handy because it doesn't seem to fucking want to work at all. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it. Can we I'm turn gonna it? Find out. Where even is my mouse at? There it there is. There it is. Hey. hey. So. We're going to want to turn <laughs> hey, that bottle. It works. Oh man, I don't have to get up anymore. And then examine that. E ex examine, examine, examine. Do you want to turn it more? Hang on. We probably need. We probably need to open the bottle. But how do I check that? Oh, can you do X. that? I don't think you can y. do that. B. 
Fuck. Just turn it Never around. Mind. Uh, uh, check. Turn I it mean, around. If, turn around. Fuck, fuck. Oh. Turn. Turn. A. Now zoom in. Round. That doesn't really look like much. Zoom in. That's a whole lot of nothing oh, right there. Oh, what's that in there? On the Hang left on. side. I see that, but uh, I think that's just... Part of the graphics? Yeah. I don't know. I thought we could investigate things before, but... We can, but... Huh. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. I can't touch the cork? Because I know before I was able to touch the label, right? Yeah. Just to see what it was. It's like, oh, it's grape juice. Okay, so I guess I can examine the top. Oh! The bottle is completely empty. Hmm. It's empty. Huh. Okay. I guess that's why they want us, me to check it out and examine it because to it's see like that it's, uh, empty, yeah. it's not in there, yo. All right, now I'll put that controller away. Uh, so I'll still talk to him about this and see what he says, but yeah, it looks like it's empty in the first place. So why in the bottle? I perceive my opponent's intent immediately. I'm used to entrapment, you see. Fast defense I attorney. I knew what was coming. Ho oh ho! So you struck first! I like that! I know every trick in the book. They don't work on me. At least, when you get lucky and stick your hand in your pocket, they don't. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go the trap. Hmm. I'll save just in case, even though it doesn't work like it used to, but I'll still save. Yeah, it used to be deep, deep, deep. Okay, go. And now, now it's I have just to, like... Now I have to actually turn off the fucking console and go back <laughs> if I want it to work correctly. But I think the confidence here is the bottle because it's empty. Yeah. So uh, it's like, hey, it's empty. So how hey, does that uh, work? There we go. Yep. Um, Mr. Wright, if I may. Yes. I've examined the bottle and I don't see any card in here. Hmm? No. What, Mr. Wright? Surely dots isn't all you have to say for yourself? I can't say that I know what happened to the card. I did put it in that bottle, however. Huh? Perhaps a fifth person came and took it out. Oh, and a sixth person could have helped. Mr. Gavin, stop being a smart ass. Your, your, Mr. Wright is your client. My apologies, Your Honor. I won't have you disparaging our investigation either. We looked inside that bottle. There was nothing. So what's going on? Is Mr. Wright hoodwinking us again? Or did the card just... Disappear. I don't know why, but I've always read disparaging as disparaging. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, that, this is news to me. Not now, <laughs> but when I was younger and I would read books, like back in high school, I'd be like, disparaging? Aww. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right. In any case, please continue the cross examination. Thank God I didn't read that. I'm afraid <laughs> decisive contradictions call for decisive evidence. Oh. Push him harder, Justice. Break him. Jesus. It's just you and the witness in the ring. Go for the KO. And why do we get the feeling we're not on our client's side anymore? Because Gavin <laughs> is fucking... Yeah. Not okay, good. Okay, so we need something else. Hmm. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, the girl was knocked out. And you called the mm. police. You made the call to the police from the first floor of the restaurant, correct? Exactly. So the phones don't get a signal down in the hideout. Was anyone else on the first floor at the time? Not a soul. It was the middle of the night after all. So there in the darkened restaurant, I called the cops. After making the call, I returned to the hideout. It didn't seem right to leave the injured waitress alone. Hmm. his forehead. And when you returned, the victim was already... Dead. dead. Yes. I'll admit, I was a little startled when I walked in. Uh, uh, little. It's not the first time. Yeah. He was bleeding from his forehead after all. I guess I'd be startled too if I walked down a scene like that. So you know He's like, I've call. seen a lot of dead bodies in my, <laughs> all right, you in my life. Phone call. Could you explain why you called Mr. Gavin? And obviously got involved in a rather sticky affair. I figured Christoph's law officers would give me a friend rate for my defense fees. Ah, oh, glad to hear you intend to pay. Oh, I'll pay in full, Kristoff. It was I who got you involved, after all. You may find the price of your defense quite high, my good friend. Quite high. The Is this fuck? the truth that Mr. I was talking about? 
Just as you know what you have to do. Oh yeah, okay, so this. Da, 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 okay. So. Hmm. Huh. Let me think. Now, if I'm correct. What? I feel like I should present this, because in the first original crime photo, he had his hat on. So you wouldn't be able to see the blood in his forehead. According True. to this picture. Because I think crime photo 2 says... Hat removed during investigation. Unless it was so like... So which of these well, do I present? Well, how far down is the blood going? Check it. It goes around the back of his head. Oh, it does. So okay. which of these do I present? Would I present the first one or the second one? Because they both kind of tell oh, a story right. of their own. I'll go with crime photo one, because that's the scene of the crime as they found it. Yeah. Oh, yes, there yep. we go. Mr. Wright, if I may. Again. Yes? Take a look at this photograph. Learn and roll around. <laughs> Every single of time. Of the crime scene. See the victim here? He's wearing a hat. I wouldn't think you could see blood on his forehead. Good point. Oh. Justice. Next time you point out an inconsistency, put a little more oomph into it. Mr. Wright, can you explain this to the court? Ah. Uh, I forgot to mention something. I was going to put that hat on his head. What? Uh huh? You. You put the hat on the dead man's head? He wore it through our entire poker game. After calling the police when I returned to the scene, his head was in full view. Shining bright, just like in this photograph. And? I picked his hat off, off of the ground and put it on his head. Uh, but, but why did you do a thing like that? All I can say is, I'm sorry. But that's the only thing I touched at the crime scene. So, Miss Orley didn't see it? It being the victim's, uh, his head? I would think not. She was out cold. I believe I was the only one who witnessed his head. Ah, uh, here we go again. Mr. Gavin? Ahem. <laughs> Pardon. Just seems that our client is determined to lie his way through this case. Mm. Hey, he's still our client, isn't he? I believe that's enough of that. Uh, Mr. Gavin? <laughs> this witness's testimony is more like a travesty. It's riddled with lies. I'm beginning to see how you came to lose your attorney's badge seven years ago. So it was seven years ago. He lost well. it, too. He didn't give it up. Hmm. Well. You certainly have a unique way of threatening your clients, Christoph. Treating. <laughs> of treating your clients. It was threatening, though. <laughs> I never knew. I believe it was you who threw the first stone. He's like, what the fuck? Mr. Wright, if you intend to ever tell the truth about this case, it's now or never. Don't be misled. I haven't told a single lie here. Uh? When I noticed the trap, I put the card in the ball to dispose of it. And when I put the hat on the victim's head, let's just say I had a reason for doing that as well. Uh, reason? That reason is right here. Your cell phone? That night, recall that I spoke with defense attorney Gavin after calling the police. Just in case I recorded our conversation. Mm. What's this? Now that we're all here, I see no reason why I shouldn't play it back for the court. Oh boy. Kristoff, Sam be in a bit of trouble. What's this? Game not going well? Something like that. That gentleman who challenged you, he turned out to be good? He turned out to be dead. Someone hit him. Hard. You mean someone cracked that flawless bone china plate? China, china plate? China. China? What the fuck? <laughs> it wasn't you, was it? Me? Please. The cops should be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that? Hmm. Bone china plate? A kind of porcelain, very smooth and shiny. And not plate, but pate. I believe he was referring to a certain gentleman's balding forehead. Uh, hmm. <laughs> the court appreciates the defend defendant's discretion in not indicating my forehead. <laughs> Wait a second. Something's not right about that phone call. So after Mr. Gavin ate dinner with you, he left the Borst Bowl Club? Most certainly. Then, then how did he know? When did he see this bone china pate or pate? 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 I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that one. It, 
Well, pate normally Usually has, has that, that little mwah. thing at the, on the end. But maybe they didn't have that in the font budget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what anyways. are you doing? I don't oh, know. That's right. Yes. That was when we began to see my good friend in a different light. Hmm. Trouble that I returned to the crime scene. I want to spot Mr. Smith's head again. I realized exactly what was wrong. Well, Mr. Gavin, the stage has been set. Perhaps you would like to explain this to the court. Exactly how did you come by your privileged knowledge of the victim's head? Hmm. So this is your reason? The reason why you put the victim's hat back on? Your point, Mr. Gavin? It's come down to this, has it, Phoenix Wright? Uh... Order! I will have order, Mr. Ping! Yes, you wanna? I believe this court has been left with no other choice. Are you prepared to hear defense attorney Gavin's testimony? <laughs> well, as the prosecutor, I... What? Very well, we'll break for ten minutes. Ten minutes! After <laughs> which, Mr. Gavin will take the stand for cross-examination. We all clear on that? Crystal clear, Your Honor. Very well. This will be the final recess for the day. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Um. Hey, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gavin and Mr. Wright are both in the judge's chamber. Oh, they're both in there. Who would have thought today would turn out like this? Uh. I have no idea who this is. I don't either. Just My heart. <laughs> Whoa, she's oh, cute. Uh, 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 what? Uh, 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 she's a magician, master, uh, master daughter. Oh Jesus! <laughs> um, well, I mean, you never know. Hmm. Well, I think based off of the picture that we saw earlier, I think this is Phoenix's daughter. Wait, really? Because the girl had a top hat on in the picture. She did. She was just a lot younger, I think. I can we? Can we see? I, I don't. We don't uh, have that. Do I, we? No, no, we can't. But when he showed us, it was a it was a picture of a girl in top I hat. So don't know, cause she's like. I don't know. She's so. I don't know. Uh, I gotta think of a voice. Just pick a voice. Because she seems like a kind of character that's gonna be around for a while. Potentially, I don't know. You give her my voice. No. no. <laughs> um. Hello, sir. Please pick a card. Uh, wh what's all this about? <laughs> uh, is this one okay? Excellent. I have a message for you. The last hand is about to be played. You'll need a trump card to make it. Trump card? The card you have chosen is magical. Use it wisely and the game is yours. That's all. An ace? Where do I remember that card from? It's bloody! Uh, Mr. Smith's hand has three aces and Mr. Wright's two. It is five aces in all. It is true, I have seen it. The fifth ace. There was cheating, I swear to you. Mmm. Mm. The missing fifth ace! Wait, splotch of red. Is this blood? Let's hope I don't forget her voice. Okay. Uh, you have your trump card. Now it's up to you to cut the deck and draw. The truth. My father's fate is in your hands. Yeah, you're right. Hey! I know you can do it! How to, how to, okay, okay, bye. Don't I'll hope fuck you're legal. you up. No. <laughs> <laughs> this bloodstained card is my trump card for finding the truth? I fell deep into thought as my mind raced to understand what this all meant. That girl. I'd seen her recently. But where? In a locket photo. That's when I made the connection. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. It's just a different color. That's why I didn't recognize it. And Joker. Yeah. Bloody Ace added a court record. Okay. It's going to be mm. important. Obviously. It's like when Gumshoe would bring in some evidence in, yeah. in a recess. Don't know why she had the card, but okay. <laughs> Court will now reconvene. Defense attorney Christoph Gavin, will you please take the stand? Hmm. Now then, if you would, Mr. Fane. <laughs> yes, you wanna. I'm will mistake the witness state his name and occupation. <laughs> Is this false and necessary, Your Honor? Believe me, far stranger things have gone on in this courtroom. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, I'll play along. <laughs> 
trust me, you don't want to see any of it played back. <laughs> oh, God. First, there's one, there was an exorcism. There were crazy people. <laughs> Someone oh, killed boy. himself. Okay. First, there's one thing we need to have made clear. How did you know about the secret beneath the victim's hat? By secret? I'm guessing he means the fact that Mrs. Smith was bald. Forgive my curiosity, but what is it about this fellow's head? Your Honor seems to have an inordinate interest in it. Oh, Phoenix. <laughs> that was Phoenix, yeah. Whoa! Hi! <laughs> I wouldn't call it inordinate, Mr. Gavin. Mr. Wright! What do you think you're doing, Wright? Well, things should look different from the other side. You know what I mean, Apollo. <laughs> Speaking of looking from the other side, let's consider something for a second. The victim wore the hat all night, never once taken it off except for that one time. That one time being the instant he was hit. Oh! Well, Mr. Wright returned for reporting the crime the hat was lying on the floor. Mr. Wright picked it up and placed it on the victim's head. In other words, in order to have seen Mr. Smith's bald head, he would have to have been at the scene of the crime. At the time of the crime. In other words, you'd have to be the real killer. Is what you're trying to say. Hmm. Not bad, Apollo. He looks so cool from the side. Ah, <laughs> uh, the glasses thing. Mr. Gavin! I'm afraid that I haven't been entirely honest with the court. But what? Oh, I assure you I had the noblest of intentions. Uh-huh. I did it all to protect my client, Mr. Wright. Excuse? Uh -huh. Yet I'm afraid in the current situation I see little reason to hide anything. Very well. Let me tell you the truth of what happened that night. Um, well, finally, you may begin your testimony. Fill the flies. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, knowing this court, tell us how you were involved in the events of that fateful night. Come on, dog. Slip I have the beans. decided something. Yes. Since your Apollo voice is your Funimation voice, that's what I'll give her. Okay, Next as, time lo I see her. as long as she continues to be a main character. I'm. I mean, it's <laughs> Phoenix Wright's daughter. I'm pretty sure she will. Maybe we'll see. I have no idea. I'll, we'll figure it out. The rage I sensed in that man that night troubled me, so I returned to the club. I went down to the basement <laughs> and peeked in through the little window into the hideout. Return to the club. It must have been right after the murder took place. The victim was dead as he appeared in the photo. A bald head and unconscious girl, and Wright holding a bottle in his hand. I sensed that was not the best place for me to be at the time, and so I left. It's when the call came from Wright. Mmm. I don't buy it. So you witnessed the murder? For better or for worse, I missed the actual moments of the deed. Mr. Gavin, may I remind you that you're on Mr. Wright's defense team? Your testimony is clearly disadvantageous to your client. That's a big word. What else could I say? I'm standing on the witness stand after all. So you are, Mr. Gavin. Hmm. And you had to testify as you just did. You had to tell them you saw the scene of the crime through that little window. Uh, Mr. Wright? <laughs> you had to say that. Because that was the only probable window of opportunity. Right, Apollo? Oh, uh... <laughs> Mr. Wright, the defense should do the cross-examination, not the defendant. Even though I know you did it for a really long time. Mr. Justice, are you prepared? Yes, Your Honor. I can't believe I'm going up against Mr. Gavin. Hmm. This trial is getting weirder and weirder. Anytime Mr. Wright is involved in a trial, that's what happens. It gets weird. I've gotten used to it. You, you right. do well to do the same, Apollo. <laughs> All right, let me see something here. So... Went down in the basement and peeked in through the little window of the hideout. Now, I thought the window was in like a weird... Where is mm. the... Do I have that map? I don't have the map. You accepted Fuck. my fate long ago. Oh. I'll never judge a normal trial for the rest of my life. I don't... <laughs> Not so as long as me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, yeah, I thought the window was in a weird spot. <sighs> but I could... Grant, I think I thought the window was that cupboard back there, I just, but I guess I could be wrong. Oh, oh, excuse me. I still don't get how... Like, I guess it's not super weird, but a window being in a basement? Well, like they said, the uh, the thing was that it w that was way back in its old days of when it was in its black market days, oh. where it was a way of seeing into what was going on. 
Let's give some different version about how he used this window. Yeah. Though. The little window. You mean the one used to keep watch up in the state? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Now we have okay. that now. So that's on that side. See, when I picture uh, a window, okay. I just picture to the outside, you know? Yeah. I'm like, how did I have that in the basement? You mean the one that used to keep a watch keep watch up the stairs? Yes, a relic of the ancient past. The black market has used it, I believe. Why did you go for the troubles of peeking into the window? Wouldn't it have been easier just to open the door and go into the room? Hmm. I didn't want to upset right, you see. Open the door and get on the upset floor. Upset Mr. Right. Do the dinosaur. Yes, what if my fears had been unfounded? I'd be walking out on that match. Bad form, to say the least. Uh-huh. Hmm. So if everything you're saying makes sense. Sounds like an excuse to me. It was right after the murder took place. Why do you say that? Mm. How do you know it was right after the murder? Really, no need to shout justice. Nah. I was just getting to that part of my testimony. Ah, uh, there he is. The coolest defense in the West we know and love. Even when you're standing up there on the witness stand. Some things never change. Hmm. I was afraid you'd change too, right? But you haven't. You and that overbearing personality of yours. But friends like these, who needs enemies? <laughs> yeah. The victim was dead as he appears in the photo. By photo, you mean the second photograph of the crime scene? Precisely, you see, he wasn't wearing his hat then. Uh-huh. I saw his head when he was dead. I'm and the next Dr. Yeah. Seuss. <laughs> and then Mr. Wright came along and replaced his hat. Can you describe the scene of the crime for us? Bald head unconscious girl and Wright holding a ball in his hand. Huh. Those are the only three at the scene of the crime? Yes, as far as I saw at least. Then we're back where we started. The killer was the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Who else could it have been? But why didn't you talk to the police? Two reasons. Hmm. First, I didn't actually witness the very moment of the crime. Second, my office is asked to defend Wright. Even after seeing what I had seen, I couldn't abandon my friend. Mm -hmm. There must have been someone else there at the moment of the crime. Justice, I just said I saw no one. Not a soul. You can't uh, see but, souls. But, but, but that goes against what Mr. Wright said. Ah, yes, this mysterious fourth person. Who would conveniently be the real killer, I suppose. You, you dangus. Glad to see we agree, Mr. Gavin. Let me pose a question, then. Tell me. What possible reason did the real killer have to swap cards with the victim's hand? Yeah. Hmm? Perhaps you can show us the reason why such a thing would be necessary? I actually can, because it had blood on it. Yep. <laughs> How can I show something I can't find myself? Remember, Apollo, the card that was swapped out was the fifth ace. The fifth ace? Right. Well, Mr. Justice, <laughs> for asleep, the question of why the killer would swap out the card has been raised. Can you point to a reason? Show evidence. I'm confident. It's now or never. <laughs> the defense would like to present evidence to the court. Evidence showing the reason why a card was swapped out. Hmm. Can go ahead and point out your reason, Mr. Justice. Why did the killer take the fifth ace? Beep, 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 beep. Beep. Because it had evidence beep. on it. My reason is... Uh... This. <laughs> is that an ace? Why? Why, it's got blood on it! Right next to the spade! Wha what? The ace of spades! This is insane! What was I told about this? Why? Could... Could this be? Could this be the missing fifth ace? Oh boy! In, in, in Incon inconceivable! 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 <laughs> How could you? What are you doing with that card? <laughs> um, well... That's the thing. Why is Mr. Gavin so upset? <laughs> it's just a fishy card from some fishy girl. Excuse me. Oh, that card? It's mine. That is, I picked it up at the Borscht Bowl Club that night after the murder had occurred. I gave it to my daughter. Cards are a stock and trade, after all. So she's a magician. N no. Impossible. Unacceptable. The court can't accept this evidence. It's a fraud. A fraud? How can you be so sure? What? I would think the only person who could claim it was a fraud would be the one who took the real card from the crime scene. The real killer. <laughs> Allow me to elaborate. 
What if this trace of blood was the reason? The reason for? For the killer to take the card from the crime from the scene of the crime. Where are you going with this? You sound like a defense attorney again. <laughs> Taking a look at the photo and at the victim's head. At the moment of the crime, his hat fell to the floor. And a trickle of blood ran from his forehead down the back of his head. Couldn't a drop of that blood have fallen onto one of the cards? I suppose. The killer then took the card to hide the blood. R regardless, that evidence is non-permissible. Oh? Right, because this is how you wasted the last seven years you used to be a lawyer. You know what a serious crime it is to conceal evidence. Oh, we can discuss the finer points of our legal system later. Oh, damn. What's important now is that I've answered your question. What are you talking about? You want to know why the killer would have taken a card from the crime scene? And now I've told you. The one drop of blood would have been decisive evidence, you see. Oh, Jesus. But this is baseless conjecture. Baseless. Oof. Oh. Whoa! Hey. Oh, I assure you it's quite based. Well, what? That's it's amazing, so cool really. Looking. How a single drop of blood on a single card can lead us to the truth. It's quite simple. Well, Apollo? Y yes? He's like, holy fucking right next to me. <laughs> Try picturing the scene of the crime in your head. Whoa, whoa! That's whoa, crazy. Whoa! whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Technology! <laughs> the murder took place in the hideout. The body of the luckless victim was found at the poker table. And we're gonna look at more of this next time. Oh man. Oh man. This is. Cr this is I, I like this now. Same. I agree. I agree. <laughs>